good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. In this upload I'd like to show you how to create cross-references in Word documents. Cross-references as you be aware are where I can click in one part of the document and be taken to another which has the appropriate referencing. It's very similar to bookmarks and in fact we'll be using a bookmark so that I can cross-reference to text as we'll see later in the demonstration. But let's examine first of all the document we'll be using. It's a document, a four page document about graphic design. There is a graphic here suitably captioned figure one graphic design. At the bottom of the document there is a table suitably captioned table one graphic design. If you're not certain how to create captions because you need to cross-reference to the caption itself for a graphic or a table then I'll put a link uh, in this video to the upload which shows you how to create captions. It's really quite simple. Now what we'll do, first of all, I want to create here at the insertion point a cross-reference to the table at the bottom. And I normally do that by typing an open bracket followed by the word C and a space. If you wish you could type refer to. I generally use the word C. Now what I want to do is to click insert and then in the links group the cross reference and the table when I clicked on table it looked for the tables and it said do you want to link to table 1? Yes and do you want to put in the entire caption? at the insertion point. I have other options here but I generally use the entire caption. You'll see why now. And when I close that after clicking insert there is my cross-reference to the table 1 graphic design. I'll close the bracket. What I often do here is to italicize that text so that it stands out a little from the uh, from the rest of the text. Now when I hover my mouse over the cross reference it says hold down the control key and click to follow the link and when I do that I'm taken to the caption table one graphic design that I cross referenced. So I know that my cross referencing worked fine just there. Now the next thing we're going to do is to cross reference to this particular area here. Because I want to cross-reference to this text I need to bookmark the text first of all so that I can cross-reference to it. So what I'm going to do is to select the text and then insert a link, a bookmark. We'll call the bookmark name 20th Century. No spaces and underscore if you wish. You cannot add a bookmark if you have a space. Now we'll click add. Fine, no problem. Now what we'll do, we will delete that reminder text and what I want to do is to say for example here I'll say C and I want to create a cross-reference by saying insert link cross-reference not to a table but to a bookmark. There's the bookmark there and I want to insert the reference to the bookmark text. That was why I selected all the text to create the bookmark. Now I click insert, close and there is my uh, there is my cross-reference to that text. Again I will simply italicize that text and we'll see if it works. Control to follow the link, control click. Beautiful, took me straight to there. 
Now, the last cross-reference that we'll do, this, uh, the three will cover 99% of the cross-references that you want. We'll insert a cross-reference here to the graphic on page one. Remember that the graphic up here had a figure one graphic design caption included. So what we're going to do is to get rid of that reminder text there and we will say here in brackets refer to just for a bit of a change refer to then we'll insert a link a cross reference link what do we want to refer to a figure figure one graphic design if there had been any other figures they would have also been listed down here so you could create cross references to whichever figure you have wanted the entire caption yes good idea click insert close close the bracket for appearance sake I always italicize the text control I purely for appearance sake you might even want to color it entirely up to you click to follow the link and there we go it takes me up to there so my document now is cross-referenced wherever I need to cross-reference it so let's test them all here's one here I'm reading down through my document ah see table one graphic design well we'll go to that one there it is beautiful back to where we were uh, here's another one see 20th century design yes no problem at all and there was one here up further here it is here refer to figure one graphic design so that's how you insert cross-referencing it makes the documents highly usable from an end user's point of view uh, they don't need passwords or anything tricky they simply hold down the control key click on the cross-reference uh, text and they'll be taken to the particular part of the document thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and we love likes and comments of course uh, again thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now